got Elsa there. <laughs> Very apt. <laughs> Morning folks, uh, as hoped for, I'm out again uh, just before the end of the year uh, and we're going up onto the Derwent edges. I've got Lee with me this time, he's just nipped back to the car because he's forgot something. Uh, we've parked at the Lady Bower Inn, I'm just heading up to, up to the southern end of the edges with a view to camping at Backtor, that's, that's the plan. But if we see somewhere better along the way, we'll nip up to Backtor then, then hopefully. Uh, pitch at the, at the better spot that we find. Uh, it's very, very cold, zero degrees uh, in the car when I left it. Uh, it's forecast possibly a 50% chance of a bit of snow, sort of in the early hours of tomorrow. Um, temperatures, I think, minus two up here tonight with a, with a wind chill of minus seven. So, yeah, it's going to be another cold one. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. And it's nice to have a bit of company this time. I've seen Lee for a for a while, camp since, since we did I Cup Nick, I don't think. So, anyway, I'll uh, speak to you in a bit. Okay, we're just approaching Wheelstones. Lee's gone on ahead, been faffing around with the camera, taking pictures and filming. Yeah, these are Wheelstones just coming up here. Look quite eerily illuminated the mist, don't they? We're almost at back to now. It's bitter cold, it's below freezing. I've had a wind chill of minus eight. Just look at the ice, these snowy conditions. A little bit of snow. I hope there's a really good spot to camp here. In fact, yeah, just coming to the rocks now. It's been a brilliant day, even though we've not had a view. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Right, all set up. And I think today I am super organised. There's a bit of food in the porch, sleeping bag lofting nicely. And in the space up that side, I've uh, arranged everything in a linear fashion. So I know where everything is. Famous last words. I'll be screaming in 20 minutes, I've lost some. No, so far so good. I'm gonna get a brew in a minute. Radio then, it's 20 to 6, I'm snug as a bug in a rug in the tent. 
pretty well organised this time. The only slight problem is I kind of pitched the tent on a bit of a drop off here, so I keep falling into it. So I bolstered up the edge of my mat with some um, bags of spare clothes and stuff just to prop me up a bit. Lee's a little bit higher up in the rocks. He's got a nice little space tucked up there. After pitching the tents, we had a walk over to Lost Lad, but we couldn't see much really. We just went up to the view indicator. Conditions are absolutely freezing, freezing fog. We had a bit of a, a, a view on the way up, the, the fog parted and it closed in again. And it's just made the, the grasses, the rushes, the heather, the rocks look absolutely stunning because they're just coated in rime, just that thin veneer of ice. Looks absolutely awesome. I really like these conditions. There's just frost in the air. My, my fluffy hat froze up. Um, my eyebrows had a bit of ice in them. Lee's hair froze and his eyebrows. There's a couple of other wild campers over there, some young lads, a few hundred yards away, so they're no, no bother. I've had a brew. I'm going to make me tea you know, in an hour or two. I'm fine for now. I've got some snacks to get through. I'm going to put the darts on the radio. Right, looking forward to that. World Championships. So, yeah, everything's everything's looking good at the moment. Long may it continue. <sighs> Trying a new tea tonight. I'm on uh, Summit to Eat Chicken Fajita with Rice. I've never had this one. But I'm a big fan of the chicken fried rice, so expectations are high. Right, to your folks, it's just after 10 o'clock. I'm going to call it quits then, go to sleep, I think. I'm not overly tired, but I'm running out of things to do. Uh, I had something to eat not long back. That uh, chicken fajita meal, I wasn't overly struck, and I'll be honest, a lot of dehydrate dehydrated meals I really like I think they're great for the job but no I weren't keen on that one I stuck my head out not long back it looked a little bit clearer the moon was trying to the moon was trying to get through um, but still really cold temperature minus two it's still saying snow for morning well towards morning 60% chance so to wake up to that a bit it'd be tremendous and I, I hope we do but that's all for now. Uh, I'm going to say good night and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Morning. It's just after seven o'clock. I didn't have the best night's sleep, but I was warm. Uh, absolutely fine, really. I don't know whether you can tell at the moment, but the tent's flapping about quite a bit. It's been quite windy and gusty. And I can hear like a a different kind of patter on the on the fly sheet of the tent. It doesn't sound like rain, so I'm guessing it's snowing. Let's just have a look outside. Don't know whether you can see this very clear, but it's definitely snowing. It's a winter wonderland. Well, leave no trace, there's my footprint. Starting to get covered with snow already. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, feel it now, eh? That was hard work packing down. I know. My hands are freezing. I'm not sure what time it is, it must be going up to nine. But we're pretty much all packed up. We're going to bob down, uh, back down to Lady Bower. I'll try and speak to you a bit lower down. Uh, but just see how the conditions are. Might wait till I get back to the car. All right, see you later.
still blowing, but it stopped snowing. Last time I was up here was in the summer looking for the Lamagaya with my dad and our Isaac and Bob and Dave, a couple of mates. It was a lovely day, <laughs> out like this. Anyway, I'd like to wish you all the best for 2021. Can't be any worse than this year, can it? And I'd also like to thank everybody who subscribed to the station. I've had a bit of a surge recently, so I'd, I'd like to thank uh, recent subscribers, but also the ones uh, who subscribed before the surge. Yeah, I appreciate it. Anyway, there's one or two people starting to appear now. I look like a bit of an airbag talking to the camera. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.